NISAR or the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar is a remarkable milestone in the Indo-US space ties. Designed on the I-3K mainframe bus, NISAR will render services for the next five years according to free and open data policy. NISAR Plus provides a means of disentangling and clarifying spatially and temporary, temporally complex phenomena ranging from ecosystem disturbances to ice sheet collapse and natural hazards including earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes and landslides. ISRO has identified a range of applications of particular relevance to India that the performance normal including monitoring agricultural biomass over India, monitoring and assessing disasters to which India responds, studying snow and glaciers in the Himalayas and studying Indian coastal and near shore oceans by monitoring annual changes in bathymetry along the deltaic regions, shoreline and erosion accretion. The changes that Earth is undergoing in its ecosystem, deformation and cryospheric sciences emphasizes the urgent and constant need to observe Earth from the vantage of space in order to thrive on our changing planets in decades to come. NISAR offers centimeter level precision capable of detecting subtle ground shifts and environmental changes. Data from NISAR will provide critical insights to help India and US plan for natural Cryo and human performance normal. Today when the GSLV F-16 rocket of ISRO places NISAR in its intended orbit, a critical deployment event that is of the 12 meter wide mesh reflector will take place. This mesh reflector acts as a radar antenna. The deployment will be a slow sequence to ensure the delicate boom and antenna unfold without damage or misalignment. The deployment will begin 10 days after launch and will be carried out over the next 8 days. Plus 12 minutes. To prepare NISAR for science operations, in orbit checkout, physical deployment of all deployable parts, checking out the engineering systems, testing the radars independently and jointly, this phase will last for 90 days after the launch.